everybody, this is Jared, and today we're going to be talking about hand chimes and hand bells. Let's get to it! Alright, this one's a winner. We're geared up, ready to go. So, a little bit of background and history. Of course, um, I'm, I'm a handbell director uh, here at a church, and uh, so I deal a lot with these. Um, and so, uh, the, the history, just to give you a little bit of background, these are handbells. Um, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're either curious or know a lot about these things. Um, but the basics of them is they are bell shaped instruments that have a really bright tone. Listen. And uh, they have an internal clapper, that's, that's a, a little mechanism that actually uh, strikes the bell and makes the sound that you hear, a clapper. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we know that the hand bells, as far as the history is concerned behind them, they were originally designed as a training tool, or I guess a practice tool, for the giant tower bells uh, that you used to hear, and change ringers. So what would happen is, if you were in a town that had a bell tower, that had tower bells, you couldn't practice that instrument without the entire town hearing your practicing. So, somebody created these miniature bells so that the change ringers could practice what they were going to do when they got to the, to the tower bells, the, the bell tower, and actually rang for the entire you know, city to hear. So that was pretty cool. They started making them more finely tuned, and they became unto themselves a performance instrument, which is really neat. Uh, so, all of that to say that that these uh, instruments are are much older than their counterpart, the hand chimes, right, which are very similar, but just as the hand bells were designed as a teaching tool for tower bells. So, too, are the hand chimes designed as a teaching tool and instrument for hand bells. Now, the hand chimes are a little bit different. They have a much more mellow tone. Listen. And then the hand bells. Here's the hand bells. So, the hand chimes, as you can hear, have a much more mellow tone than uh, the hand chimes, rather, have a much more mellow tone than the hand bells. And also they have an external clapper mechanism. So the, the striking instrument, the thing that actually produces the sound, is on the outside of the instrument as opposed to the inside. From looking at them, you can tell that the hand chimes are a tubular, they're, they're a square tube, uh, and that's the resonating body as opposed to the hand bells, which are a more a classical bell shape. The hand chimes are, are just plain old metal, and they are, of course, a lot, they, they are a lot lighter. Um, if you could pick one up, you would know that immediately. They're cheaper, they're easier to play, and they're much more resilient as an instrument because they're just, you know, a, a block of metal, essentially and it's cut to length so that it produces the right pitch, but these can be dropped a lot easier without being damaged. Uh, they, you can put your hands all over them and they won't get fingerprints that corrode the metal, like, like on the brass, uh, uh, the, the brass casting for the handbells. They are really, really, um, they, they're affected very, very much by fingerprints and by dropping, and so they get damaged a lot easier than the hand chimes do. So that's just a, a basic thing uh, about the differences between the two and the history behind where they're at as far as instruments are concerned. Of course, as hand chimes were created as a teaching tool for the hand bells, a, uh, you know, a preparation tool, they also often, I'm looking at, I've got these Suzuki hand chimes in front of me, and you'll notice that they have, in addition to the pitch on them, they also have the music, where it's positioned on the staff, right on the hand chime itself. And this is much different than you'll see uh, than, these, uh, than, than these hand bells that I have here, which just give the pitch 
class, the pitch in the class. Uh, so it's very obvious to me that the hand chimes are designed as also as a as a greater teaching tool as opposed to an instrument in itself in and of itself. So that's pretty cool. We also know that be, as a result of, of their resilience, as a result of their lightness and their in their inexpensiveness by comparison, that these instruments really truly are are more accessible for younger instrumentalists, which is pretty cool. So that's just a little bit of background. Now let's listen to these instruments in action. All right, so here's the handbells first. This is a C5 that I'm playing and a G5. Here we go. Hear the brightness of the tone there? Now compare that to the hand chimes. This is, a, again, a C5 and a G5. change the way that I mute the sound, you have to really go over in, uh, over the top as far as muting them on your shoulders are concerned with the hand chimes uh, and then with the hand bells it's just, it, it, for me it's more natural just being able to, to rest them on the shoulders. It makes it a lot easier. So there's that. That's all for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. <laughs> Go in peace.